Hello, today we are going to learn how to draw a rhombus, giving its two diagonals, D1 and D2, as can be seen here at the top of the screen. So the first step is in the center of the screen to draw a horizontal line. And on the left side of the horizontal line, we will mark our first vertex, A, of the rhombus that we want to draw. The next step is to transport the shorter diagonal, D2, onto this line, setting our compass on A, and we scribe an arc. to get a second vertex of our rhombus, which we will call C. Okay. So the next step is to work out the perpendicular bisector of the, the longer diagonal, D1. To do this, we set our compass longer than half the length of the diagonal, and we scribe an arc below, as can be seen here. And now setting our compass on the other end with the same radius, we scribe another arc to intersect our previously drawn arc. And we're going to repeat this process with a slightly shorter radius, but again, it has to be longer than half the length of the diagonal. So now with this new radius, we're going to scribe two more arcs, as shown here. Setting our compass on the other side of the diagonal, we scribe another arc to intersect our previously drawn arc. And now we will draw a vertical line through these two intersections until it cuts the diagonal D1 at the midpoint M. This divides our longer diagonal D1 into two equal parts. So now we're going to work out the perpendicular bisector of the shorter diagonal D2. So setting our compass slightly longer than half the length of D2, we scribe a semicircle. And now setting our compass on C, we, with the same radius, we scribe another semicircle. And where the two arcs intersect, we will draw a vertical line which divides our diagonal D2 exactly in two parts, as can be seen here. And we prolong the line above and below. Okay, so now setting our compass to half the length of diagonal D1 and setting our compass on origin O, We'll scribe an arc above, cutting the previously drawn vertical line on top. And again, another arc scribing, intersecting our vertical line on the bottom. These will be the remaining two vertices of the rhombus we want to draw, which we will name B and D. So the final step to complete our rhombus is to join vertices vertex A to B in a thicker line. Vertex B to C. C to D. And finally, to complete our rhombus, vertex D to A. So I hope this video has helped you. Please press like or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much and see you next time.